Another useful module is the OS module, which stands for operating system. And uh, this is a, a, both of these modules actually have a lot of different functions. We're only scratching the surface here. And I've included a link that will take you to more documentation about it. The OS um, or operating system module is a very rich one and it essentially allows you to do pretty much anything that you could do in your operating system uh, related to different uh, directories, working with files, and so on. You can see it's uh, the um, documentation isn't particularly user-friendly, but it does tell us, as I said, the important thing, which is what do you need to pass into the function and what do you get returned out of the function? And that's the case for each one of these different functions that are a part of that module. So I'm just going to show you two here. This one um, is called get CWD. That stands for get your current working directory. This is going to tell you what directory Python is working in. Um, and uh, I'm going to set that value into this variable here. And then hit another function is to list the files that are in the directory. If I don't put pass any argument into it, it will assume that you want to list the files that are in your current uh, working directory. We can also take this working directory string and add something to it, like the documents directory, and then it will um, find some other directory relative to the one we're working in. So I'm going to start by just commenting this one out so that I won't get too much on my screen. I'm going to have it list what is in my current working directory. So let's import operating system and then run. So here it's told me that my current working directory is my user directory, users Pascal SJ. And then it's listing all of the files that are in my user directory. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of them. The form that it's uh, listing them as is actually an object called a list, which we'll learn about in the next lesson. Now, if I want, instead of looking in users Bascow SJ, if I want to see what files are in my documents directory, that's a subdirectory of Bascow SJ. So all I have to do is add slash documents onto it and it'll show me that. So let's try running that. Okay, now it's showing me all of the documents that are um, in my documents directory. 